to <coughs> his boy O G T M A N E and as you're gonna really say what back with another rain girl back with another banger we are we are back. and today we're gonna react to gunner's album rollout was completely ruined by my boy hello yasmin extras this nigga mixed up most of his videos go fuck me oh god oh brisket oh brisket make sure to go Fuck with his, his shit. But without that being said, let's get into the video. What's pop, man? We're cool. going to have a very, very fun conversation today. And it's okay. going to involve Gunna album sales. Obviously, you mm -hmm. saw the title. Gunna dropped his album and was rolling out his album at the same time as us having the biggest rap beef that we can remember. You know, you thought your black ass was slick. Gun, you got my you got my camera over here tweeting. You 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 thought your ass was slick, boy. Oh my god! Focus, focus on me, focus on me. Y'all hate when my fucking camera does this. Y'all, I'm gonna have to see what the hell wrong with it. Is. If it focuses, oh well. We're not gonna let that stress. But yeah, you should have known better. When nobody worrying about your fucking album, they was worrying about who's gonna win this rap beef. And we already know who won it, who will get the props for it, anyways. You yeah, ain't gonna lie, this shit pissing me off, but. Anyway, let's get back to it. Beast post 2020 mm. biggest rap beef. Uh, would we say yay and would we say yay and Drake was bigger? I wouldn't say so because there weren't as many direct shots in terms of tracks. It was kind of just them going back and forth, maybe a sub here and there. So we have Kendrick Lamar, Drake. Everyone's eyes and attention are on it. Gunna announces the album, and I even tweeted something along the lines of, man, Gunna's album release just got co-opted by this beef and all these tracks that are dropping. Everybody's focused on that. Gunna didn't move or push back his album date. He went through with it. Keep in mind, Gunna's last album that he dropped last year, this was the first one coming after he decided to give information. Truth Tell, Snitch, whatever you want to call it. That whole ordeal with YSO. That album was anticipated. Great album. One of the best albums of last year. If someone told me they thought it was the best, I wouldn't argue with them. It was a great album. We got a completely different Gunna, and he's consistently evolved since then. We had the versatility that Gunny usually has with his flows and sounds and melodies, but we also got different lyrical content, which we're not too used to with Gunna. So this year, things have only gone up for him. There's been a bit more acceptance, sure. The usual mm -hmm. suspect, Lil Durk, clearly put his line down in the sand, but we started to see him get adopted a bit more. For instance, Offset deciding to work with him. So we're like, okay, what are we going to see from Gunna this year? Well, Gunna drops the album. And surprisingly enough, shockingly enough, this album was initially projected to do around 60K first week, which is outstanding. Uh, most rappers are doing 20 to 30K. So 60K is outstanding. People were saying, eh, it's a little bit less or a decent amount less than the album from last year. Keep in mind, the album from last year was kind of like his first day out. If we check out Gunna's discography. So Gift and a Curse, that had way more hype than this album. So this album was supposed to do 60 something k and gunna's gift and a curse i believe that one did around 80 85 ish come to find out that one of one ends up doing 91k first week mm. which outsells gift and a curse i didn't really see too much congratulations with it in order for gunna other than his fans this wasn't really widely reported i don't even know if i posted about this on ig that he sold this much and this is where we got to go to the conversation of sales also, one of the interesting things that I think I remember it last year, academics gave some props to Gunna for selling that much with the first album and then said, hey, we got to see if he's able to keep that up. 
and do it for the next album because him being blackballed and not having all these features from people like or not having these people even co-signing and people like 21 Lil baby etc are we gonna get tired of gunna like this we saw roddy rich also tap in with gunna but roddy rich is not holding that much roddy rich ain't been in the scene and so fucking if you ever think about co-signing with that nigga Rowdy, let me t not Roddy, Rowdy, cause nigga Rowdy, you left us in this fucking scene. And I love how this shit be focusing on everything but my black ass face. And now I wanna focus. Fuck you, camera. No, I'm just playing. I love you. But anyways, let's see. Let's see, cause why? Rowdy, stay your ass in the back lane in the industry right now nor in the fans eyes you're saying hey if he can keep this up that's a different story well i hope he gives him his credit because this year not only did not only was his album solid really good and eh, keep in mind i've only listened so far to the first 10 tracks i was going to get to the next 10 second day not only was this album solid so far from what i've heard it could the rest of it could be trash but i don't believe that to be the case and that's just because i like to be completely honest with you guys unless you know how much i've actually listened to there's really no not much benefit in lying to me i hope he got credit for it because this outsold the last one the quality was on par with the last one some people may think it's better some people may think it's not as good and gunna did this solo so now it's two straight years that he's spending dolo sure he's got some features in here like normani that's come on that's a female artist she's a singer i'm not saying she's not popular offset okay your child needs these three key factors need for you one you number two two number three shut the fuck up okay that's a good feature roddy rich and uh, leon bridges other than that gunna is rocking out this album solo those are what four songs so 16 songs completely solo gunna meanwhile what do we have Lil baby doing i have no idea what Lil baby's doing uh, he just recently did a song with central c so he's got to hop over the pond to not get some clout but rock with an artist that is very well respected for his rapping right now and i always said that once gunna got out the gunna and Lil baby comparisons were going to be a big topic of discussion that i was going who y'all think better who like generally back then Lil baby nowadays gunna if y'all don't agree with that let me know in the comments if you keep on focusing i will fuck you up but yeah, I really think, I really think Gunna has evolved over these years. Don't worry about what the hell I'm doing with my camera, but yeah, he's really got to showing that he don't need to be in nobody, um, he don't need to be in nobody peripheral, but he don't need to be fucking, he don't need to have a feature for real to pop his shit, so I need you doing your shit. No buzz. No buzz shit. If you don't fucking focus on my damn big ass head, fuck it. Bring forth. I don't know if anybody else is going to do it, but I want this to be known because <sighs> Gunna had all odds against him and Lil Baby had all favor for him. And Lil Baby has managed to flip that upside down and Gunna has managed to flip that upside down, which makes mm -hmm. Gunna's accomplishments all the more impressive. But there's something that's odd about this. We know that there are inflation techniques used for album sales or streams. Like to jump from 60K projected to 90K. I'm just going to talk about sentiment. Sentiment and awareness and attention. Like the market of attention. We only have so much attention to dedicate to certain things. So most of us in hip-hop, we're dedicated to this beef. Uh, some people probably listen to the Gun album. But if you had to just gauge how much of the hip-hop listener base was paying attention to a gift and a curse hyped for a gift and a curse and listened to it multiple times was talking about it versus one of one you would probably say yeah gift and a curse for sure everybody paid attention to that more that was the only thing that was going on at the time it was huge hype drake wasn't dropping kendrick wasn't dropping however now when one of one dropped we have drake dropping songs kendrick dropping songs and they're beefing with each other so the attention wasn't really there with the Gun album. People weren't really talking about it as much. So why would this one sell more than the last one? And this is where I start to look at the numbers a little funny. Because, mm. man, it just doesn't add up. 
that it sold as much, if it sold at the same amount, I would still be in shock, but it sold more than that. And this is where I'm not going to say that they fake the sales, but this is where things kind of get shaky. And you got to ask yourself, what's going on here? Because this does not add up. Last year, way bigger, way more hype. Now, it's still a big album. But who do you really hear talking about this? Past the release date, past day one drop. I don't really hear it talked about. Maybe someone listened on the first day, but for it to perform that well, and it doesn't have, well, it has a song that's charting, I think, but it doesn't really have like a smash hit like the last one had. Gift and a Curse, what was the song on there that went crazy? It was, yeah, F You Mean. So <laughs> Gift and a Curse even had a smash hit on there that really helped album sales. One of One doesn't have that. Or at least like it hasn't shown itself yet. By the time first we came out, everyone picked F you mean it. Gonna what you been doing? Gonna, gonna. I got my lie detecting ray bands. What, 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 what? Don't tell me you've been faking the sales. Oh, I would hate for that. Yes, you can see my laptop. I just got my camera and my laptop. That's it. Let me find out, gonna. Let me find out, nigga song was going crazy off the jump so everything was working in favor uh for gift and a curse but when it comes to yeah actually f you mean was released as a single five or so days before the album dropped so it, it had already accumulated and it was full steam ahead by the time the album dropped people are like, yo this is the one there's a difference so if it was identified during the album tracking week it'll take a little bit to heat up to have that much of an effect on the sales which is why i said if it was released before then it has that time four or five days people know if it's a hit at that point then they're gonna move it to radio start doing all their magic playlists all that other stuff one of one doesn't have either of these things which is bizarre and this isn't to not gonna like i said this is great and one of the things i also posted on my ig which i'm was very happy to see i watched this video clip back probably like five or five to eight times it's gonna performing i'm just gonna show you it in the background i can't play the audio obviously because of copyright reasons but he's performing without like backup tracks on the vocals and it sounds great of course most rappers just have the back track and they sound nothing in person like they do in the song but gonna actually good, sounds great here performing it the guy's really really lean no diddy none of that stuff he's looking healthy he's able to perform he has a great album it performed well commercially. This guy's just winning. And I felt like we had to give him his credit. And I, I think this album would have done even better. Maybe not commercially in terms of sales because these sales are looking a little iffy in the light. But I think it would have been talked about more and there would have been more discussion around it had it been pushed back. And I want to know if he had the option to push it back and he said no and went through with it. Because if he did do that, I have way more respect for him because it's something that Nobody was going to come at him for pushing his album back. Drake even said he pushed his back because Taylor Swift had dropped. So if Gunna said, hey, guys, you, you guys are going to have to wait a couple more weeks because Drake and Kendrick are going at it. Nobody was going to say anything to him. But let me know what you guys think about this in the comments. Thank you, my boy, for putting on this spectacular video. Make sure to go subscribe to Hello Yasmin Extras. Make sure. But yeah, that is true. Because I ain't really been here. I really haven't heard a, about the album until after the beef, like, literally. Yo, Gunna selling on the during one of the biggest beefs. Not having that many supporters. Albums, vibes could have been shorter. Staying in his lane. Yep, yep, yep. Fuck you mean, blew up F. A gift and a curse. Mm. My nigga want to sell on if you don't stop playing with that man here but yeah for real let me know what y'all know about that gunna versus little baby comparison back then i feel like it was nothing to compare about now it's like little baby just let it go so but anyways it's your boy ogt man signing out yeah, daddy, yeah, yeah, yeah.